POV. 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 You're a nerd. You literally play Minecraft all night. I at least I at least this is my job, El. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, she's not messy. sorry. She goes, I'm so sorry and I'm gonna film you. You must be so sorry. I don't know if you're ever gonna do anything with this, but I'm gonna talk to the camera. This is Matt's, um, guest bathroom. Actually, it's not even guest anymore. It's Shane and Mouse. This is the only guest. I'm the only guest. Faber runs the, runs this. Faber. This is where I play Minecraft all day. Matt, I already don't know what to talk about. <laughs> this is kind of hard. Matt shoved me down these the other day. Is there anybody here? No. <laughs> Fabby! Um, look how cute this is. Matt got me this panda for Christmas. And he built me this whole desk for school. I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you need Madden coins, make sure to go to instantmaddencoins.com. You can buy coins or players. I recommend buying players. It's the safest method. You're going to get a way better deal than what EA would offer you. And my code MMG can get you 10% off. Enjoy the rest of Wheel em Up, baby. Apparently, according to the, like my For You page, you can get money. As everyone knows, TikTok is an excellent source of yes, information. I, I told Elle. It is if you want it to El be. Elle thinks, it El is thinks you think there's a class <laughs> action against Celsius that you you could earn up to $250 just for submitting. I, I told it. her if she gets more than a single dollar deposited He'll in her bank account. He'll give me a life supply of Celsius. I will get her a lifetime supply of Celsius. This was the last one in the fridge. Celsius does go hard though. I mean, it's got caffeine in it, so it's not healthy for you, but it goes hard. Also, Elle wrote my uh, schedule here. Show them the 30th. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a good sketch. <laughs> so yeah, be ready for the 28th. All right, well, now you do the part where it gets to the Wheel of Mud episode. There was nothing good prior to this moment when I came in here. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can promise you. I feel like I could talk to Matt all day about nothing. I just, okay, so, like, and then I just start talking. But it's just, like, when there's a camera, I don't know what to- Shut up, bitch! <laughs> it was me. <laughs> I went to, like, different parts of the house. I looked to see if anybody else was here. Have them say hi. Nobody's- here except <laughs> Luna, so I like walked over here. Luna's laying in the same spot. Zoomed in on Luna. <laughs> walked up the you stairs. You did what on Luna? Zoomed in. Show me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but then then I'm on the stairs. She's still in the same spot. Zoomed in on Luna. <laughs> and then there's and no way you're doing that. And on then I accident. came in here. Zoomed in on Luna. <laughs> Zoomed in on Luna. <laughs> Fabbers say Wheel of Mud Super Bowl! Yes, Fabbers <laughs> say Happy Wheel of Mud. <laughs> say it, Fabbers. You need all this shit! I was actually gonna start my own YouTube channel and be like a vlogger every day. Oh, hell no! Because I just have so much to talk about and Matt doesn't wanna listen, so I thought That's maybe someone else would wanna listen. I thought maybe someone else would wanna listen since, like, clearly my boyfriend just doesn't give a fuck. But. <laughs> so cap, dude. I literally. We he literally... listens to me all the time. I'm just kidding. All, all day, every day. Even when he's not here, like, he was in LA, I still talk to him all day. El told me I look like a hedgehog. He does. My whole Instagram is hedgehogs and sea otters. And I think he kinda looks like a mix of, like, a hedgehog. Mixed with like an otter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting this video. It's it's a real content huh? Today is a big day. Today is the first round of the playoffs. Now, when we first started this Madden 23 Wheel of Mutt journey, I was kind of sad because of this new regular season playoff format. In previous Maddens, it was seven games to make the playoffs, and then your wildcard divisional, your conference championship, and then the Super Bowl. But one pretty amazing thing is we get a lot more prestige players, and we end up in the playoffs a lot faster than I'm used to. So it is different, but I'm grateful to be in the playoffs right now with some awesome players on this team. But it's all for nothing if I can't make the Super Bowl because I won't get to prestige anybody. So let's see if we can take on another Super Bowl. I am loving my team right now. Earl Campbell, Lamar Jackson was so good last game. Jefferson, Herman Moore, Marquise Goodwin. The best O-line I've ever had. TJ Hawkinson, George Kittle as a backup. And on defense, I'm still an idiot. I still don't have a middle linebacker, but it's easy. I got three spins today. I can absolutely lock somebody up for that position. Potentially another one. Get a backup D-tackle. Maybe even better corners. It's a lot of options for us still. I also wouldn't hate a kicker. I keep forgetting about that. We fought our way into the playoffs. So many close games this season. Probably more close games than I've ever had in a Wheel of Mutt season. And we came out on top in all of them. So let's keep that trend up in the playoffs. The first wheel spin of the wild card. I love
found myself a middle linebacker. It's once it is totally possible. One time's overall transfer. So I sacrifice one player to get another player of an equal overall. Sure, Allios. Clap your symbols and make content, monkey. Make Wheel of Mont, monkey. Hey. Hey. I'm going to get a fat W today. Give the camera a fat swoop. I'm gonna give the mic a fat deep throw. Oh my gosh. What? Women, am I right, you guys? He's an idiot. I tried to delay this video so that Sauce Gardner would have his upgraded card, but as I'm recording this, he does not have it, unfortunately. So I'm hoping that by the next playoff game, Sauce Gardner should have his Defensive Rookie of the Year card, but I don't have that option right now. Jason Verrett is a 96 overall. I could swap him out for a 96 middle linebacker and then put Sauce Gardner back in. I think I'm just gonna keep this simple so that Mahomes, who was my quarterback previously, he's still on the bench. So rather than taking out someone who I really like, like I could take out Marshall Yonder or something, and get a crazy middle linebacker, but I don't want to mess with my team that's good right now. Instead, I'm going to use my backup quarterback, the 90 overall Patrick Mahomes. We will sacrifice him and grab ourselves a 90 overall middle linebacker of my choice. I think it's really stupid that this card exists, but I have been floundering for a good middle linebacker and I was just gifted one. There is a 90 overall Donald Parham middle linebacker. He could be bad, but he is 6'8 with 90 speed and 91 change of direction. So he should theoretically be crazy good. His zone coverage is really nice. His hit power is great. His tackling is good. Like, it's not just a joke card either. Like, his stats are really good. He's tall and heavy. I don't know why this card exists, but this is a really good middle linebacker here. Two AP Lurker on six foot eight Donald Parham. I, I think he's going to be a savage. I'm really excited to use him. Okay, hey, I asked for a middle linebacker. Beggars cannot be choosers. I'll take what I got. I actually, it'll be really fun too. Our second wheel spin. Is the three of... Ooh, dude, this thing has been just giving me blue balls on my bench for so long. I bought this pack from the store like literally three weeks ago, four weeks ago. And it's just been sitting here. And finally, we get to open it. This is a crazy, crazy good pack because we get three players. But low key, my team is really good right now. You get the idea. There's five players in here. They're all 92 plus. We get three of them. Let's see. We got right out the gates is a 92. Tough. It is Zaire Franklin. I don't think I need an outside linebacker. I don't think he's going to get used to getting an AKA player. It is William. Ah, uh, I guess D tackle two. He'll probably make this squad. Lots of 92. It's a 93, but it's a center. I got a good center. Another 92. No, bro. You got to give me a 95. It's Goff, who I can't use either. Damn, if I had gotten this first, I could have exchanged one of these dudes and gotten a better middle linebacker. Oh, I'll take what I'm giving. Come on. This has got to be a 95. It's got to be a 95. It's eliminated. It is. Now that's a hell of a pull. We could totally use this, dude. My third wide receiver is Marquise Goodwin. This is a massive upgrade. And he's this is like such a good wide receiver. Okay, Mike Evans is huge. Jared Goff and Brendel literally do nothing for me. So we take William Perry and Zaire Franklin. Those are some massive upgrades right there. Okay, let's throw them in before we do this third wheel spin. I want to know what my team's looking like before I make the third wheel spin. I think we leave Herman Moore and Jefferson as they are. And we just throw Mike Evans in at the slot. It's kind of weird. But Jefferson was way too good last game for, he to, for me to move him. And Herman Moore is still better than Mike Evans, I think. He doesn't get any free abilities, but he gets one AP deep out elite. I'm not going to use any of those. I'm just going to run him stock. But he's 6'5 with 93 speed. So he should be pretty damn good at beating main coverage and probably a lot better than Marquise Goodwin. Now, defensively, Matt Milano is my right outside linebacker. And left is Micah. So I can't mess with that. Junior Seau, though, you can come out for Zaire Franklin, who's 6'88 speed, 94 excel. It's a great MLB, too. Low key might even be better than Parham. I just, I don't know if I can make that call right now. I'm actually going to make my sub linebacker be Donald Parham. So then I'm always usering Parham if, if I have the choice. I just want to try it. This, by the way, this is going to be a golden ticket. I, I would bet a lot of money that there will be a golden ticket middle linebacker Donald Parham who gets Lurker for zero AP. I would bet a lot of money on that. All right, for our final spin here, if I can get a kicker, I legitimately will not be worried about anything else. Like everything else will just be icing on the cake to make this team even better. Oh my God, these wild cards are so Dude, These just came out. Oh, who are we going to go with? This is a massive Massive spin. There's no kicker, obviously, but they just dropped four different 96 overall wild card players. They're really interesting cards. Players that you wouldn't really expect to get something new right now. There's Christian Wilkins, Josh Johnson, Alex Highsmith, Drake London, and Isaiah Hodgins is the limited. So I don't need the wide receivers. I think Christian Wilkins is actually my best move here because Aaron Donald doesn't have anybody on the other side of him. It's a bummer that I can't get a kicker. He's the weekly wild card heavyweight.
weight. 96 overall. Christian Wilkins. Does he get any? If he gets a free ability, that'd be huge. 98 strength, 93 power moves. Yeesh, he's so good. Gets El Toro for one, under pressure for two. Goal line stuff for zero AP. Now, I could move him left end or D tackle, but I don't have chems anyway. I think Aaron Donald is my right end right now, so he's gonna go to left end. That'll take Justin Matabuike out, and I'll move Matabuike to D tackle too. Literally, the only thing I need is a kicker, and technically, I could get a punter too. So, Christian Wilkins is in here at left end. My D tackle too can be Justin Matabuike. Goal line stuff for free is actually so lit, dude. Quicker run sheds near the goal line at no cost to me. We're a 93 overall team. Every significant position is filled with a 90 plus overall. That's correct, I think. We're rocking a 95 offense and a 93 defense. Don't ask me about the math on that because if I did 95 plus 93 and I divided it by two, my overall would be a 94, but I don't know shit. Of course, we've got the challenge reel completing it in the playoffs. Let's me get a pack for training, which is huge. It's to replicate a wow. NFL week three scores. Now the end score of my game must be the exact same end game score as a week three NFL game if I want to complete this. I'm not going to tell you guys every week three score. I'm just going to play. And once it gets to third and fourth quarter, I'll see if I can finesse it and I'll let you know what game I'm going for. But for now, we're going to focus on winning the game. I think that's the most important thing for us. Jason Verrett, Big Trust, and Thomas Davis. Poop. What do you got, Poop? He's got Steve Young, Charles Woodson, Keith Byers. Playing in Pittsburgh Steelers for the wild card. The lights are out. It's a nighttime game. Oh, I hope I'm not... Oh, no, I know this play. Yes! Good heat. Dude, this is that PA whatever. PA slot cross, dude. This play has, like, some crazy, like, super, super good play down the middle. Something like that. Ooh, he just throws... Oh, my God. Byers dropped it? Right, I'm just gonna guess pass. It's obvious he's passing. I'm gonna take this seam down the middle away. Because I'm most scared of that. Oh, nice ball. This is gonna be a really good game. This is a very meta offense. Oh, no. I can't cover that thing down the middle. Ooh, I'm on that with Matabuike, and he caught that? Oh, I can get to that. I can get to that. Oh, nice pass lead. I'm going to fly down to Byers. I'm going to send the blitz and fly to Byers. Ooh, throws over the middle. It's a lethal play. I'm probably going to have to switch up my defense next time down. For now, I'm just going to bend, don't break. I'm not going to switch up too much right now. Motions Byers could be a run. I don't expect it, though. I don't think he's got anything. He throws it away. Great defense. Exactly what we needed right there. Second and goal. Let's see if he's not going to come out in a different play. He's got to attack the middle where Parham is. He's got nothing. He has got absolutely nothing. That would have been an INT. I wish he got that pass off. I'm just going to... I'm going to put a spy out here. Ooh, good defense. Fourth and goal. Absolutely clamped him in the red zone. He had no problem getting down here, but he could not close. It's like me at the bar, baby. All right, three to zero. Poop with a nice drive, but he only gets three to top it off. Hey, at least he got topped off. He can never complain about getting topped off. This is DB Fire 2, I think. I think you can run the ball pretty well against this. Oh... Tell you what, you can run the ball pretty well. If we got a better block, yeah, it's a touchdown. See if he does it again. Let's see if this sets up the same. It does. He dives early, and Campbell's going to make that two yards where it, it's Man Blitz Spinner the whole game. We already knew it. I saw his team. I saw his offense. It's, it's Man Blitz Spinner. I'm going to run Hatback Blast. He's got a lot of DBs out there. We should hopefully be able to run the ball effectively. Third and nine. I hate man coverage so much. I was boxed. I might have had X over the top. Fourth and nine. I'm going to go for this. Oh, Hawkinson torched him. This is my best man beater play. That's a huge pickup. PA double post is the only play that I personally found that consistently beats man coverage. The good news is I can still run inside zone out of this. Just right up the middle. I mean, I get he's running spinner and his DBs are going to get to me, but I feel like the middle should just... Yeah, the middle is just going to keep freeing up. Ooh. Inside zone one more time. I'm interested to see if we can continue to get such good interior blocking. Oh, got him. Got him, Herman Moore. Torched him. Pipe layer with a tutty. I hate you stupid, toxic, little cheesy fucks who go on YouTube.com run the same damn play as everyone. Oh my God. Whatever, dude. Seven to three. Wigma. So I don't know if I want to run this defense anymore. I just got to get him to make a mistake. Ooh. Ooh, that buyer's just a big boy. He's got too much time. I feel like Donald should be getting back there. Whoa. That got through. I can't believe he hasn't ran the ball a single time. Oh, nice play. And he breaks another tackle. All right, let's just play Micah underneath over there. I got Parham in the middle. I will say I like Parham so far. I like Parham a lot so far. He moves well. I haven't made a good play with him personally, but he moves well. Call an audible. Please don't be a run. Okay. Ooh, 
Y was dangerously close to that football. He's getting ready to make a mistake. Dangerously close to that football. <sighs> nice ball. Oh my God, he missed. Honestly, just unlucky for him. That sucks. I got to get Aaron Donald's got to get home. Oh, good ball. This is the exact same position he was in last time. All I did was drop everybody into coverage and just sit. Oh, you, sir. <laughs> oh, that's a sketchy ass pass. He's letting the clock chew. Oh, he is going to hand it off. Oh, I'm calling timeout now. I might literally do it again. It's third and goal. He's got to throw quick. Get there. Oh, BS. I'm on that. All right, I got time, though. I get ball at half. I got 40 seconds and three timeouts. 37 seconds, three timeouts. I can still run the ball. I do not need to get away from the run game. I'll do that right now. Ooh, nice play by his Ted Hendricks. Oh, he went to it, but I passed led to the outside. He saw it. He just didn't get it quick enough. Easy throw. Easy check down to Earl. I have no timeouts left. I need field goal range. I have Cade fucking York. No. Got him. No way. What the fuck? Oh my God. He's like a wee baseball player. Holy shit. He got up so high. I got to get a stop. I'm on the backside of this. I don't think I can get to this. What is this play? I'm getting cheesed, bro. What is that play? PA boot over. Oh my God. From, from Madden 22. That fucking diabolical play. Well, this is the meta, ladies and gentlemen. There's no halftime adjustment to make. I, I just, I gotta get a turnover. I gotta score here and then I gotta get a turnover. It's tough. Ooh, Herman's got it. Nice. Nice ball. Got hit pretty. Wait, that ball came out. That ball was a, was that a fumble? Hell of a route there from Jefferson. I gotta play perfect though to even have a chance. Can't make a single other mistake. Big tries, can't fumble! Can't fumble! Lamar! Lamar! What was that? Oh, what a play! Monster play! Holy shit! Dude, that slow ass, janky ass spin took that shit to the house. That's what he gets for not switching off. And that only works on the computers, really. All right, a great start to the second half. I know what I'm gonna see on offense. I just don't know if I can stop it, man. Gotta guess pass every time. He went here last time. Oh! Oh, I don't know why he jittered. Even better pick six, but a massive turnover. Huge play, Parham. He he can and will turn the ball over. Let's just hand this off, take it up the middle, and Campbell is gonna meet Weapon X, but not after 15. Same shit, different day, gentlemen. Right up the middle. Can't fumble. Can't fumble. Oh! Lamar! First thing, he's such a savage! Let's go, Earl. Let's go, Earl! Hey, he's goal line back. Those are good blocks. Three down linemen. This should be a touchdown. Look at the blocks. He's not in. I gotta go for it, boys. I lose the game if I don't get this. Actually, he'd have to go 99 yards. No, I trust my defense. He's got a one play touchdown. Like that's one of his touchdowns, a one play touchdown. I stopped him on the goal line and then he did get a nice red zone touchdown. I trust my defense. Dude, this whole season has been crazy games. Why not one more, right? I can guess pass every single time to get a little bit better pass rush. Oh my God. As I say it, he gets bottled anyway by Christian Wilkins. Back across. Oh, I knew it was coming. How does he hit that? Back! Oh, I was so close to that. That's a big play. He's chewing clock. Second and three, he might actually run this. Yup. Great stop. We just can't get to the QB, man. He's gets so much time to make these throws. Nice pass. Oh, get a big hit. God, hit him harder there. Now he's in field goal range. Now he's just gonna be chewing clock. I don't know how to best play this. Big hit. No way. Blew it up in the backfield. Second and 13, he might be out of field goal range. Oh, Get him out of bounds. Get him out of bounds. Let's go. I'm going to try and blow this up. No. Yes. What a play. Fourth and two. He should go for it and win the game. If he goes for it and gets it, he wins the game. Yeah, that's what I do too. I'm just going to try and guess the snap count. Fourth and two. He's got nothing. He turns it over. Let's go! First and 10 on the 30. We can put this game away. We can win it right now. Can he get to Jefferson? Easy. Easy fucking check down. Come here. Miss. Yeah, you regret chewing that clock a little, huh? You regret chewing that clock a little, huh? Low man coverage. Lamar's gonna step up. Can't fumble. Can't fumble. Can't fumble. Can't fumble. 
Let's go! Three rushes, 77 yards, and a touchdown. My kicker can't hit from this deep. I still have to pass. I don't really trust this. Oh, why did they bail? Now it's a 49-yard field goal. I still don't know if he can hit this. I'm not really looking for the passes here. I'm going to scramble with Lamar, I think. Oh, my God. It's there. It's there! Let's go! Come on, baby! Yeah, you can ice me! Katie York will drill this shit! Down the fucking middle. Down the fucking middle! Let's go! Yeah! Why's the best player in every position not enough? Is the most meta bullshit defense not enough? Is PA slot cross not enough? Is a 17 to 7 lead not enough? Let's go! I'm such a toxic dick. I never do this, but I'm actually fucking hot right now. Try spin here, IDK. Dog, Lamar, are you shitting me, Lamar? I, I threw one horrible interception, which he one play bombed me on. Other than that, he did not score. That spin touchdown was just gross. Four rushes, 105 yards, can't fumble. A broken tackle, which led to that. Plaxico was five for 59, and Donald Parham with that huge interception. Never give up, boys. This is one of the best like actual highlights I've made in a while. So Hawkinson's open. I could have thrown Hawkinson. Camel was about to be open, but his user's turning for it. So I should have thrown Hawkinson. I could have hit Herman over there too. But this, man, that should be a sack. Should be a sack, but first guy just misses. Lamar breaks the tackle. Breaking the tackle is one thing. Dodging prime's another. But the spin, he switches on. Gets yeeted. Misses the next one. Great downfield blocking. Lamar's home. Oh, wait a minute. Holy shit. I forgot about the challenge. Dude, I completely forgot about the challenge. That might have actually lined up. The score was 20 to 17. That's a pretty realistic score. 20 to 17. Week three. Oh my God. I did the challenge. In week three, the Indianapolis Colts beat the Kansas City Chiefs. That's so crazy to say out loud. 20 to 17. I'm the Indianapolis Colts. Maybe I shouldn't say that, but I'm the Indianapolis Colts. There's the 88 plus AK new class player. It's actually a really good pack, especially for like a new account. I've got a lot of good players, so this is just a Hail Mary. If I get a 96, it'd be incredible. If I don't, it's no worries. No harm. I could get the punter, though. If I got the punter, that'd be sick. Ooh, damn, that's actually like so good. It just doesn't help this team that I have. All right, boys. Love you, boys. Oh, wow. My voice is gone. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.